Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. Got another Here journal for you. Here to See, focused on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. Judges chapter 17. We've been reading through the entire book of Judges, a chapter at a time, and doing a Here journal video on each chapter. Here journaling is a method that many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn more about hair journaling. But now, let's read and listen to Judges chapter 17 in the New Living Translation from the YouVersion Bible app. Then I'll share my hair journal with you. Chapter 17 Micah's Idols There was a man named Micah who lived in the hill country of Ephraim. One day he said to his mother, I heard you place a curse on the person who stole eleven hundred pieces of silver from you. Well, I have the money. I was the one who took it. The Lord bless you for admitting it, his mother replied. He returned the money to her, and she said, I now dedicate these silver coins to the Lord. In honor of my son, I will have an image carved and an idol cast. So when he returned the money to his mother, she took two hundred silver coins and gave them to a silversmith, who made them into an image and an idol. And these were placed in Micah's house. Micah set up a shrine for the idol, and he made a sacred ephod and some household idols. Then he installed one of his sons as his personal priest. In those days Israel had no king. All the people did whatever seemed right in their own eyes. One day, a young Levite who had been living in Bethlehem in Judah arrived in that area. He had left Bethlehem in search of another place to live, and as he traveled, he came to the hill country of Ephraim. He happened to stop at Micah's house as he was traveling through. Where are you from? Micah asked him. He replied, I am a Levite from Bethlehem in Judah, and I am looking for a place to live. Stay here with me, Micah said, and you can be a father and priest to me. I will give you ten pieces of silver a year, plus a change of clothes and your food. The Levite agreed to this, and the young man became like one of Micah's sons. So Micah installed the Levite as his personal priest, and he lived in Micah's house. I know the Lord will bless me now, Micah said, because I have a Levite serving as my priest. That was Judges chapter 17 in the New Living Translation from the New Version Bible app. Now for my here journal, first the highlight. Judges chapter 17, verse 6 and verses 12 through 13. Verse 6, In those days Israel had no king. All the people did whatever seemed right in their own eyes. Verse 12, so Micah installed the Levite as his personal priest, and he lived in Micah's house. I know the Lord will bless me now, Micah said, because I have a Levite serving as my priest. So, what's my explanation? The people of Israel did what seemed right in their own eyes in those days. Micah thought, in his own mind, that he would be okay with the Lord since he had a Levite priest serving in his household. So, how does that apply to us today? Many people today are doing what's right in their own eyes while ignoring the Lord God, His Holy Word, and His warnings. Reference Matthew 7, 21-23 Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. On that day many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, and cast demons out in your name, and do mighty works in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. Proverbs 14:12. There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way to death. Proverbs 
21 2. Every way of man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the heart. Jeremiah 11 8. Yet they did not obey or incline their ear, but everyone walked in the stubbornness of his evil heart. Therefore, I brought upon them all the words of this covenant, which I commanded them to do, but they did not. Romans 8, 5, For those who live according to the flesh set their mind on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. 1 John 1, 8, If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Jeremiah 17, 5 through 7. Thus says the Lord, Cursed is a man who trusts in man and makes flesh his strength, whose heart turns away from the Lord. He's like a shrub in the desert and shall not see any good come. He shall dwell in the parched places of the wilderness in an uninhabited salt land. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord whose trust is the Lord. Hebrews 4.12 For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, of joints and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. John 3.16.17 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. So, what's my response? Lord, thank you for your word, for you, Holy Spirit, who leads me into all truth. I strive to abide in you as you abide in me, to follow you faithfully and obediently. Help me, Lord, to resist temptations that would try to lure me away from your righteousness and my relationship with you. I pray for any that are not putting their faith in you that they repent and follow you faithfully and obediently. Amen. And now, how about you? Why don't you try some here journaling? Highlight, explain, apply, respond. You will be so glad you did. Comment below. Share your experiences with us. If you haven't accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, read the Gospel of John chapter 3 to learn about His plan of salvation and talk to God about it. He's waiting for you. Talk to Him now. God bless.